welcome to episode two of Reading with YWCA. Um, this book that we're going to read today actually is not one of our Women's History Month books. We have Hispanics and Philanthropy to thank for, for the grant that allowed us to purchase this book. So thank you to Hispanics and Philanthropy for making it possible to share this story with you. Um, today we're reading Drum Dream Girl, How One Girl's Courage Changed Music. And I love this one because it's actually based on a true story. So let's let's get started. It's written by Margarita Engel and illustrated by Rafael Lopez. On an island of music in a city of drum beats, the drum dream girl dreamed. of pounding tall conga drums, tapping small bongo drums, and boom, boom, booming with long, loud sticks on big, round, silvery, moon-bright timbales. But everyone on the island of music in the city of drum beats believed that only boys should play drums. So the drum dream girl had to keep dreaming, quiet, secret drum beat dreams. At outdoor cafes that looked like gardens, she heard drums played by men, but when she closed her eyes, she could also hear her own imaginary music. When she walked under wind-wavy palm trees in a flower-bright park, she heard the whir of parrot wings, the clack of woodpecker beaks, the dancing tap of her own footsteps, and the comforting pat of her own heartbeat. Carnivals, she listened to the rattling beat of towering dancers on stilts. And the dragon cling of costumed drummers wearing huge masks. At home, her fingertips rolled out their own dreamy drum rhythm on tables and chairs. And even though everyone kept reminding her that girls on the island of music had never played drums, The brave drum dream girl dared to play tall conga drums, small bongo drums, and big round silvery moon bright timbales. Her hands seemed to fly as they rippled, wrapped, and pounded all the rhythms of her drum dreams. Her big sisters were so excited that they invited her to join their new all-girl dance band. But their father said only boys should play drums.
So the drum dream girl had to keep dreaming and drumming alone. Until finally, her father offered to find a music teacher who could decide if her drums deserved to be heard. The drum dream girl's teacher was amazed. The girl knew so much, but he taught her more and more and more. And she practiced and she practiced and she practiced. until the teacher agreed that she was ready to play her small bongo drums outside at a starlit cafe that looked like a garden. Where everyone who heard her dream bright music sang and danced and decided that girls should always be allowed to play drums and both girls and boys should feel free to dream. So that's Drum Dream Girl. Like I said, it's based on a true story um, of a girl in Cuba. So thank you so much for joining us for episode two of Reading with YWCA, Drum Dream Girl. Once again, I hope everyone is staying healthy and safe. Thank you.